How's it going? I just wanted to show you how to do a very cheap off-camera flash setup. Uh, what I did, I purchased, I had a really cheap light stand, I got it used. I got this one for 15 bucks used. It's gonna come bare on the top. You're gonna need a swivel that has a umbrella holder. That's gonna screw right on there. Then you're gonna need, this piece should come with it, but if it doesn't, they're like probably four or five bucks. And that'll screw into the top, just like that. Then you're gonna need a cold shoe adapter it's just a little piece of metal to hold a flash that screws right onto that piece. You're going to need a flash. This is a Yongnuo YN560 version 3. This Yongnuo 560 version 3 and the version 4s will sync with the Yongnuo RF603 version 2 triggers. Let's see if that'll focus. You can see. Boom. So I have to manually set the power on here. And when I put this trigger, I slide it right onto the hot shoe of the camera. For me, it doesn't matter which camera I'm using, it's gonna sync. And I can do this on Fuji X100T. Boom. Flash goes off. Pop it off of there. Throw it on my Nikon D700. Flash goes off. And I can even throw it on this old film camera. I've got a Nikon FE. You can see The red means that's where the flash sinks to. I had a thumb grip on there. I had to pry that off. But anyway, on the Fuji and on the film body, because they are um, not as smart as the newer, the Nikon system, uh, you'll have to make sure that your trigger is in the TX mode but with a Nikon or a Canon, you could just throw it in a TRX. And I'm just gonna demonstrate that this does flash. With that setup. So all together, I paid about $65 for this flash. It has a built-in receiver. I got a pair of these triggers. I think they were either 20 each or 20 for a pair. This pretty cheap swivel right here costs maybe 10, 15 bucks. You're gonna need the cold shoe adapter. That's another five, 10 bucks. And a cheap light stand will run you about 15 to 30 bucks. Now, if you wanna add a little bit more softness to your light you can grab a reversible umbrella these are about 25 bucks for a 32 inch and honestly you can do just about anything with this little setup the only recommendation I would say is to get a good light stand and a more expensive flash swivel I would recommend the Manfrotto versus these plastic Pro Masters the reason being the plastic can't grip the metal very hard and it'll start to strip out as you can see this one got stripped out and so that's why this is just sitting over here but I wanted to show you even this one can can last you at least a couple months 